my channel so for today's video I'm going to be doing my official gender reveal for you guys so obviously as you guys know at the moment I'm currently five months pregnant I am deciding to share the gender with you today on my channel it's going to be a little bit different to most gender reveals because I'm not doing a gender reveal party or anything as all of my close family and friends already know what the gender is but this is specifically just for my followers because I feel like you guys deserve to know and I just want to share it with you so I'm going to be doing a fun little video and the way you're going to find out what the gender is is by this cake right here it has the colour of the gender in the sponge so when I cut the cake you guys are going to find out whether it's a boy or a girl I also have a balloon with some confetti inside and a confetti cannon I thought I'd do three things because it would just make it more fun but they're all going to have the same colour in them and you guys are all going to see it happen at the same time and you're going to find out whether I'm having a boy or a girl make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more pregnancy videos videos and obviously my regular videos coming in the future but let's get on with the gender reveal so I decided before I actually get to the gender reveal I just wanted to have a little catch up with you guys about how I've been feeling recently and what I've been getting up to obviously like I said at the start of the video my family and friends and myself are aware of what the gender of the baby is so we already know I told you know people at different times I knew from very early because I done a blood test and it was confirmed that it was right at my 20 week scan I'm so excited for you guys to find out. I have been putting up a couple of polls on some of my social medias and most of you are saying that you think it's a girl. So most people are thinking it's a girl. Some people think it's a boy, but most people are thinking it's a girl. But like I said, you will find out today in this video. So just keep watching. My family's reactions were slightly different when I told them the gender. Some people were expecting it and they said that they already knew that it was going to be that. And some people were super, super shocked slash happy because in our family, we do tend to have more of one gender. Um, so it was a little bit different. I just don't know what you guys are going to think if you were going to guess right or if you guess wrong but you are going to find out today also just a quick little announcement i wanted to make to you guys my auntie lydia who you guys might know she also has her own youtube channel i'll put it right here make sure to go subscribe to lydia because her videos are really really great she actually just had another baby literally this morning early hours this morning she had my cousin and she's called maggie and she's the cutest little baby ever so i'm so excited that my baby is also going to have a new cousin who's going to be really close in age to them. Auntie Lydia already has Bonnie, as you might have seen in her videos, who is now almost one, and then she just had her little sister last night, so they're going to be really close in age, and honestly, I can't wait to meet her. I haven't met her yet, but I've seen pictures of her, and she's super cute, so I just wanted to say a big congratulations to my Auntie Lydia and Chris. So now I have given you guys a little update about everything that's been going on and just talked to you a little bit. We are going to be getting into the gender reveal. So I'm going to let you know how we're going to do it. So I have this cake here that was made by Lily Bakes. If you don't know who Lily is, she is Rosie's cousin and she is a very, very talented cake maker. And honestly, this cake is so lovely. So make sure to go follow Lily on Instagram. And this cake just has a little thing on top that says it's a dot 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 and the sponge inside is going to be the colour of the gender so it's either going to be blue for a boy or pink for a girl. Being super careful because I do not want to ruin it but this is the cake. It is super pretty. I just wanted to show you more close up. As you can see it has some details on top. It has some little gold stars and it has this really nice sort of rose looking pattern around the edges and it's buttercream which honestly I've been dying to eat it for so long because it's been sitting on the table and I can't eat it until I cut it open so I'm I'm gonna be eating this tonight, not all of it, but a little bit. Um, so yeah, that is the cake. I also thought just for the purpose of a gender reveal, I would do the classic confetti cannon. I ordered this on Amazon and it's obviously got the colour of the gender inside. I'm gonna be doing this as well because to be honest, I've always wanted to do one of these. I go to gender reveals and see people like open them. So I finally get to do it myself. So I'm gonna be popping this open. And the very last thing that I have to reveal the gender is a classic gender reveal balloon which says boy or girl. And obviously it has the colour of the gender inside. So I'm gonna reveal this literally in 
about five seconds. So guys, finally the moment you've all been waiting for. In the next clips, you are gonna find out what the gender is of the baby. So I've put my polls up and you guys have made your choices and you've made your votes, but you are gonna find out right now. So let's get on with it. So as you guys can see from the last few clips, I am having a boy. You all said I was having a girl. I know some of you probably guessed I was having a boy, but most of them was girl. But as you can see now, it is a boy. So yeah, I'm having a boy. And when I first found out I was having a boy, I honestly wasn't shocked because I just felt like from the start that I was gonna be a boy mom and I was gonna have a boy. So when I found out, I wasn't shocked. Either way, I was gonna be happy because I didn't mind if it was a boy or a girl. I was super, super excited when I found out it was a boy. Um, my boyfriend was so happy about it because I feel like most men do want a boy as their first baby. And also another person that was super happy was my dad because we literally have so many girls in our family and we barely have any boys. And my cousin Romeo also was so over the moon. So yeah, everyone's been super, super happy about it. And I'm so glad I finally got to tell you it's a boy. So as I've just revealed the gender to you guys, which as you know now is a boy, I thought I would show you a few little bits that I've bought over the last couple of weeks for the baby, and preferably some blue bits that I wouldn't have been able to show in my previous videos. So I'm going to show you, there's only a few things I'm going to show you, but I just thought it would be something fun. So first of all, I'm going to show you this really cute outfit I got. It's so cute. It's a little set and it comes with a few different pieces inside. So I'll show you what comes inside. So first of all, it comes with this super cute little blue long sleeve top and it's stripy and it's blue and white and it has a tiny little bow somewhere oh, at the bottom there so cute and then it has some matching bottoms how cute are they they're absolutely tiny i think this is a size one month um i'm not going to bother getting anything newborn because i've heard they grow really quickly and i also think it looks cute when the stuff's baggy on them because it makes them look smaller and it also comes with a baby grow vest sorry guys if you can hear that noise it's just my cat playing with the balloons so it also comes with a baby grow vest, which is the same like pattern. So yes, as I said, it comes with this little baby grow vest. And then the last two features of the set, which are so cute, is a tiny little matching hat and mittens. I think mittens are literally the cutest thing. If you don't know what mittens are, um, usually newborns wear them to stop themselves from scratching themselves, because some of them have quite long nails when they're born and you don't really want them to scratch themselves and it also keeps their hands warm. So that is the first that I got. I absolutely love it and I think it is so cute. So next thing I thought I would show are some of these really cute bottles that I've bought. I am gonna be breastfeeding, um, but when I express my milk, I'm gonna put it in bottles, obviously. They are tiny ones. I always feel like tiny bottles are so cute, like rather than big ones. Obviously when they get older, they need bigger ones. But for now, I feel like this size is fine. So this is what they look like. They have some detail on the front it's just like a little bear or something and also these ones are anti-colic bottles another thing i got was this really really cute pacifier slash dummy we do call them dummies in england but this actually does say pacifier on it that's why i said pacifier i've actually never seen a design like this i found them on a website and i thought they were so beautiful so it looks like this close up as you can see it's sort of like got this ribbed circle around the edge I'm not gonna get it out of the packaging because I don't wanna get dust on it, but I thought it was so cute and I got it in the like newborn size. It's gonna be so small and he's gonna look so cute with it in his mouth, so I can't wait to use this. And another thing I wanted to show was this really cute cellular blanket. So a cellular blanket is meant to be the best for babies because they are really tightly knitted and they're also got holes in them so they're airy so they won't like get like really hot. I'm not gonna open it until he's born, but right now it's got a little cute bow tied around it and it's 
And the last little piece I wanted to show you guys today out of just some of the baby stuff I've got. I've got way more stuff upstairs, which is probably going to be my next video. I'm probably going to do a big baby haul. So look forward to seeing that probably next Saturday or if not the one after that. So the last thing is just this cute little set, quite similar to the other one. Um, but this one is just a tiny little top and it has some little sort of detailing with some buttons and it sort of folds over and then it also has the matching bottoms so I'm guessing it's like a warm sort of wintry outfit. I am due in March so I feel like March can still be really cold especially where I live in England so he's definitely going to need some winter bits so it comes with a matching hat which is just so cute. I absolutely love hats on babies, I think they look so nice. So yeah, those are some of the bits I wanted to show you guys, but I hope you liked it. So that is it for the gender reveal. I'm so happy I finally shared the gender with you guys. You all know now that I'm having a boy. I don't have to hide it anymore. I'm having a boy and you all know. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. It's probably one of the most fun videos I've ever filmed on my channel. But yeah, as you can see, it's a boy. Thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below what your guess was and if you got it right or if you got it wrong. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as I do videos every single Saturday and I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!